When you're having a baby, one of the great tasks before you is choosing the name. Nowadays, the job can be easier because many times the parents know the gender. But names are very important. Hey, welcome to Mornings with Bishop Robert. Thanks for joining me. Hey, come on in, have a seat, because you are important too. My goal is to introduce people to the Jesus they never knew and help them get to know him and his word personally and better. So if our time together today speaks to your heart, let me invite you to like, subscribe, and share it with a friend. If you join our email list, you'll get a free copy of my book, Count to One. You'll get Mornings with Bishop Robert sent directly to your inbox every day and lots of other great benefits. So click the link in the description. You'll get all the information you need. Well, my wife and I knew how important names were to children. You see, when we adopted our older children, we gave them the opportunity to take whatever name they wished. One changed their first name. One changed their middle name. <laughs> One asked if he could become my junior, taking both my first and middle names. Every time my wife became pregnant, we decided to ask the Lord what name he had for the child in her womb. <laughs> he was always faithful and provided a clear choice. It, it actually caused a bit of consternation with our relatives and friends because most people who are uncertain of the gender of the new baby will typically choose two names, one in case it's a boy, another in case it's a girl. And even though we had no medical idea regarding the gender, God only gave us one name, and he was always right. Well, today's verse tells us she'll have a son. And you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Well, the angel spells it out for Joseph. It's a boy. <laughs> Here's the name. Here's why. <laughs> Period. No questions. No discussion. Done. <laughs> well, names often carry meaning. You can see that in boys' names like Baker and Hunter or in girls' names like Summer or Daisy. Jesus. You know, his name actually means salvation, or Yahweh saves. Or as Isaiah put it, Emmanuel, God with us. Jesus is the God who saves us. Jesus was literally God come in the flesh. He was fully God and fully man at the same time. Now, our human minds have a, a difficult time understanding how that can possibly be. And so this truth, like many others revealed in the scripture, is called a mystery. Something we, we just can't fully comprehend right now. Paul the Apostle promises that even though we only see dimly now, the time will come when we understand fully. And until then, we accept what God says by faith. But the word of the angel, you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. Well, that's clear. How the entire process works is actually more complicated than I could begin to explain. That Jesus will save his people from their sins, that's evident. Understanding the why, <laughs> that's the only easy part. It's because he loves us so much. But precious little else in the realm of salvation makes sense, <laughs> except for the love Jesus displayed for us. She will have a son, and you are to name him Jesus for he'll save his people from their sins. Jesus didn't come to overturn a government, not even the heavy-handed Roman Empire. Jesus didn't come to establish a, a new school of philosophy or even theology. Jesus came to save his people from their sins. The angel said she will have a son, and she did. 
The angel told Joseph, you are to name him Jesus. And he did. Only the final part of the verse remains. The angel announced, he will save his people from their sins. And he did. The cross and the empty tomb bear witness to that fact. The only question that remains to be answered is this. Who are his people? Who are the ones he will save from their sins? Well, thankfully, Paul the Apostle makes that quite clear. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Hey, this Christmas, make sure that you are among the ones who are calling on his name. Make sure that you are one of his people. Because she had a son. He was named Jesus. And he's here to save his people from their sins. Wow, time is passing so quickly. Before I go, I've got to ask you, would you help me introduce people to the Jesus they never knew and help them get to know him and his word personally and better? Would you please like this video, which helps more people see it? Then click follow or subscribe so we get together every day. And one more thing, share this with a friend, would you? Because as you do, you're part of the team touching hearts all over the world with the love of Jesus. Thanks for helping.